<laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Carla, go <glove> up. <laughs> What's happening, peeps? <laughs> um, hi. What's up? I think I just almost blew snot out of my nose. Um, I hope everyone is doing really fabulously well today. It is Wednesday and I'm currently in Washington, D.C. And today's vlog is not going to be about Washington, D.C. Today's vlog is going to be throwing it back a couple of months. Now, I've mentioned before that I had like vlogged a lot in the past and I didn't upload a lot of those vlogs. So you guys keep seeing like throwbacks. So that's what today is gonna be. I had a day um, where it was just kind of like cleaning out my laundry, filming, went out to lunch, all of that stuff. So that is what you're gonna see today. And I'm gonna try to get more current. Uh, vlogging is something that has become really weird for me over the last like two years. I think I've mentioned this before, but I've never really said why and the truth to be honest as to why I lack sometimes on vlogs is the same reason that I've heard a lot of, lot of vloggers sorry I literally I've been drinking a glass of wine and for me a glass of wine is like enough to like <laughs> throw off my uh, fast speaking patterns um, anyways I've heard a lot of vloggers mention this before that like when you're vlogging and you start putting your life out there people start having lots of opinions and it's like your fault as the vlogger because you're putting yourself out there but like just being a normal like average person on the planet it is just trippy when lots of people start developing opinions about you and I'd say about a year and a half ago is when vlogging started to get mentally trippy for me because I started to get really like aware of things that I thought people would say to me if I said something a certain way or I went and I did something at a certain place or whatever. It just felt like people were going to have things to say and I think I've gone most of my life being like a kind of like a people pleaser and someone who doesn't like making people feel upset and if I feel misunderstood or I've made people sad or angry or whatever it makes me feel really bad and so I go through kind of these weird funks with vlogging where like sometimes I'm like yes I love vlogging because really in reality if I take away everyone's opinions and anything anyone had to say I love vlogging I love capturing moments I love filming with people it's something that's really fun and almost kind of easy for me because it's just fun to turn on a camera and like show everyone what I'm doing and talk to people on camera it's just really fun for me but I do go through these funks because as you guys saw if you watched my um as you guys saw you might not have watched it but I uploaded a video a couple of videos ago I think it was two videos ago maybe three called what's wrong with me and I talked about my anxiety and having scoliosis and dealing with all of that and I think that that definitely adds to it but I also just really think that it was a matter of letting comments and people's opinions get to me so I come and go from this vlog channel uh, a lot even though I don't think I'll ever be gone gone because of like my own things in my head so if you vlog I don't know if you've dealt with that I feel like everyone that I know that's a youtuber like everybody talks about it how it is just a weird thing to have so many opinions on you and the things that you do and sometimes it's like a five minute thing of your life but people will get upset by what they're seeing and thinking that that really represents your whole life so I feel like I'm going on and on and on about like like, woe is me. But I just kind of wanted to reference that that's like the reason why you guys haven't seen a lot of these clips. Now, I am vlogging in DC and hopefully that will be up more real time within the next couple of days or so. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing really well. Dance here. By the way, here. do I have wine all over my teeth? Hopefully not. Oh no, you're not drinking out of a straw. I know. So, oh, oh my oh. god, that was so close. <laughs> that would have been real drama. Um, my wine got stolen the other night. The or my straw out of my wine glass got stolen the other night. So that was a bummer. So now we're gonna go back in time. You're gonna see our faces from a couple of months ago. When was this? Mm. Kind of summer, early fall. By the way, he walked in the room a few minutes ago. I tweeted this. I was like, that is so cute. And he came over to me. And he hugged me and he said, Nikki, you're literally the perfect woman. Which I'm not, but thank you, Dan. I love you. All right, we're going to go back in time now. Please don't choke me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking. <laughs> Carla, go up. Uh, comment down below if you know what we're talking about. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Hi guys, so I'm starting off today's vlog exactly where I left off one of my last vlogs. And today is really cool because it is Friday. What's the date today, Dan? 
August 18th and today slash this weekend is going to be so crazy and so much fun because right now as we speak Emily Olsen is in town with her husband Justin but they landed at the airport a couple of hours ago and for the next few hours they rented a car and they're going to be driving around LA because if you watch Emily's channel um which if you don't I will have it linked down below she is actually considering they are considering moving to Los Angeles so they're out for the here for this trip not only to visit us but also to go around LA and kind of figure out like if they were to move here where they would want to live what they think about all of that so they're gonna be in town soon but I am pretty much what I have to do for the next little bit I have to clean out my closet and do my laundry because since I got back from Vegas last week I never put away all of my stuff I never did my laundry like everything is disgusting I have like no more clean anything time to clean and make my videos dude the struggle is so, so real. So I'm gonna work on putting this back together now. All right, so I got my pile of darks ready to go in the laundry. Oh yeah. because I'm about to film. My record wall is getting bigger and bigger and this is my background. I still have to use lights. Um, the best time of day for me to film in here is the morning Wait, and it gets harder as the day goes on. The record wall, it's, it's, it's crooked. Uh, got a half inch slope to it. And that who noticed one. that? Nikki. No, I noticed. I just didn't want to say anything. I know, I'm just anal with like crookedness. But honestly, depending on where I'm standing, so you can't tell. You can hardly see. And so I'm not gonna build the wall higher than it is because the closer it gets to the wall the more the obvious more it becomes yeah. it's okay yeah you know we'll just we learn because i think honestly in our next place we'll still want another it record is, wall so it, you're learning yeah it's like i know we're not gonna be living here for like ever forever, so if this was a forever wall then i would have taken a snap line i would have measured everything out and then just pencil line gritted mm. the whole wall and then done it Pretty cool though, dude. Melissa's here. You want to say hi to the vlog? That's it. <laughs> Look at the progress of the closet, guys. We are making progress. I got the uh, suitcase put away and I'm on my second load of laundry, so we're getting close, peeps. Getting close. So, Dan and I are about to go get Rubio's. I think we're going to get Rubio's. We want to go out to lunch. It's one o'clock, so it's time to eat. And also, he keeps joking about celebrating, and I'm not sure what he's referring to, but I don't really know. So, we're going to go to Rubio's. We haven't been there in a while, but we are kind of obsessed with that place. Um, we go through like phases, but I thought I would show you my OOTD. Lately, I've been dressing more girly, but today I'm back in all black again, which was was basically my uniform for like the last year and a half up until like a month ago so my sunglasses are from Karen Walker my watch is from Klassen can you see that is it gonna focus Klassen I have a silver one too my bag is from Alexander Wang I love this thing I love the hardware and the gold it's so durable it's basically like carrying around a little duffel bag I love it um, my top is from RVCA or Ruka I'm not sure my pants are like I'm not sure what it's called I've never known like what the brand is actually called. My pants are from Aloe Yoga. They're actually really cool. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. They're made to look like leather pants. I've showed these before, but they're just regular like yoga pants. Um, Carly Christman had them and I became obsessed with them. And then my shoes are Birkenstocks. So time to go to Rubio's peeps. Oh! We're currently at Rubio's and we got our food. What did you get, Dan? This is what you get every time, right? The Coastal Trio. So, a shrimp taco, the original fish taco, and the blackened tilapia taco. This is all good, but, man, their salsa is really good. They've really become, yeah, their salsa is really good. We were just saying, they're really good at dips here. But, you don't like the ones that I eat, and I don't like the ones that I know, that eat. I know, we're opposite. But they make really good dips, and they've really become like a seafood place. So, if you've never been to Rubio's, you should check them out, or if you haven't been in a long time, because yeah, they've really become a seafood place and they're really good, so. Mm. I'm back to editing, and Zoe is in her puppy bed. Just wanted to give an update. Ha ha ha. She does not like the gardeners are here, by the way. She keeps yelping. Zoe. You're so cute. You're so, Zoe. 
cutie. Oh. Hey guys, so I feel like I look super gross right now. I just don't feel light and fluffy right now. Um, but this is gonna end this vlog. And actually in the other room, Emily and Justin are here right now. My room is really messy. I have a lot of laundry to do. So, but at least I did my laundry, right guys? I did it. Okay, it's clean. I'm just gonna put it away. All right, guys, so that is it. That is the end. That took me a second to find the camera. I was like, where Where am I looking? That is the end of my extremely exciting day. Uh, before I go, I want to say two more things. First off, um, thank you for all of the comments that I've been getting lately on my new main channel video that I just posted a couple hours ago with Tone It Up. I just really appreciate your comments on my scoliosis video, on my Star Spangled Banner video, which by the way, we totally saw yesterday in DC, like the first flag, like the American flag that F, not F Scott Fitzgerald, Scott Keys, Francis Scott Keys, so close. Those things are very similar. The flag that he saw when he wrote the Star Spangled Banner and I got so teary eyed and chills and I just felt so cool and even more like honor if that's the word I felt so honored to get to sing that at the race and I'm singing it a couple more times it looks like this year one of them I think I told you guys in the last vlog it looks like I might be singing at Sonoma Raceway which is like a raceway that holds like 30,000 people mind exploded so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it it really helps me know that you guys like vlogs and it helps me feel like good and like okay they want me to keep uploading vlogs because they all gave it a thumbs up so give this a thumbs up if you like this and you want me to keep uploading vlogs it makes me feel awesome like legitimately that sounds it sounds kind of dumb but I guess not really so um I will see you all very soon and I know I talked about Emily in this vlog if you didn't know Emily is actually doing vlogmas so be sure to go over and check out her vlogmas I was also just watching Cambria or Brie Loves Beauty or Cambria Joy, I think is her YouTube name now. She's doing Vlogmas. Check out all of their vlogs and I will hopefully see you very soon. Um, hopefully while I'm here in DC with another vlog. All right, guys. Bye.